watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. So this is my absolute favorite time of the year and it's my favorite weekend. It's opening weekend of deer season in Texas and I wouldn't want to spend it anywhere else than our family ranch, Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. Is this better than Christmas morning? This is Christmas morning, New Year's, and my birthday wrapped up in the one. Oh, he's a monster. Oh. My. God. Anytime you want to do it, just make sure you ride the bull. That was perfect. Howdy everybody, today's show is going to be really cool because it's going to be opening weekend of the Texas deer season right here on my place, the Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. And we've got two special friends of mine coming in. First off, Jim. Jim was here last year and he smoked the biggest deer of his life. I think I'm going to need a bigger wall. And then we've got Patty. Patty is the wife of a very dear friend of mine. And she's never killed a buck, period. About a week before the season, though, we had Aaron with Tank Blind show up, and he had a special delivery. Howdy, Aaron. How you doing, Keith? I'm doing good. <laughs> Everybody, this is Aaron Gilbreth. He is with Tank Blinds. We're going to get these guys drug off the trailer right now, and one of them in position. Then I'm going to have Aaron show you what makes a Tank Blind so special. One of the cool things about tank blinds, besides having the best custom built blind on the market, period, is the owner, Aaron. I mean, Aaron is a, a great guy. He's a Texan, he's a family guy. His roots are in, in God and family and country, and how can you beat that? It's an absolute fantastic product, and Aaron is a fantastic guy. Hey guys, my name's Aaron. I'm the president and owner of Tank Blinds. We're gonna show you just what makes a tank blind so special here. This particular model is a two and a half foot platform. This is our standard tower platform. So whether you get a five foot, 10 foot, or 15 foot tower, they all have the oversized porch. And the biggest thing that sets us apart in our claim to fame is our pipe skids. Now these skids will allow you to get the blind off the trailer really easy. You can attach it to a four wheeler or UTV pickup truck and this allows it to basically slide on the ground. And once you get it set up at the spot that you want to be, we've got a set bolt and basically you can level the whole blind by pulling up or dropping the, the skid down and setting that bolt. Now the best thing about tank blinds is a full customization and that starts with the window placement. Whether you want a bow window at the nine o'clock position or a rifle window, we do it all. What makes our windows so unique is they're tinted glass, they're silent hinged, and on every window we have a 14 gauge diamond plate steel rain diverter. We have a wall lean to gun rest, shelving throughout, bottle opener, lights, solar screens, and one of the biggest things and most popular options that we have is the folding table bench rest. Whatever your style is, we make it happen. If you have any questions about the tank blind or the custom options we offer, please give us a call, we'd love to hear from you. So the blinds are all set in place, the deer activity should be good, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is my absolute favorite time of the year, and it's my favorite weekend. It's opening weekend of deer season in Texas, and I wouldn't want to spend it anywhere else than our family ranch, Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. This weekend in camp, we've got a lot of special people. We've got Billy Reeves and his wife, Patty, and we've got Jim Crippen. Billy Reeves is the owner of Hog Wild Adventures. We've hunted there for a decade. And we've spent a lot of time with him, but never really have with his wife. So I'm really excited for Patty to be here. It's actually her first hunt ever for white-tailed deer. So I'm just looking forward to getting to know her better. My name is Patty Reeves and I'm at Texas Hidden Springs Ranch with Keith Warren. And the first thing we do is go to the range to sight our guns in. So Patty shot her bolt action rifle and she liked it, but the recoil was a lot more than she would have liked and it was loud. 
So I brought out the MSR, it's a 308, it's the LWRC Reaper, and I knew it'd be perfect for her. Miss Patty, I'd like for you to come over and shoot this one. And I, you know, I've been hunting for a while, and one thing that Keith taught me is that I had been putting this part of my finger on the trigger when it needs to be here. Hold it back and just hold your trigger finger back. You've been popping it back. That's called booger flicking. Ooh. So we don't want any booger flicking. Okay, you're gonna take your time and you can squeeze and hold it back. Perfect! That was perfect. Do you see how, I mean seriously, that was perfect. You listened, you executed perfectly. No booger flicking, you rode the bull, you watched it, you did perfect. Now what gun do you wanna hunt with? Really? You're good. <laughs> well, then we'll make that work. Okay, Jimbo, you're on deck, buddy. Come on. My name is Jim Crippen, and I'm out here once again at Texas Hidden Springs Ranch for the opening day of 2019 deer season. Okay, where'd you hit? Can you see? I think I hit red, bottom red. Perfect. You're done. You're done. All right, let's go eat supper. And let's get this hunt started. Yeah. That a boy. I'm so excited about tomorrow. You know, we, uh, we've had a real busy summer out here. I mean, we've been feeding a lot. We've got a bunch of reconic shots of some really good deer. Uh, they've uh, just come out of velvet. Most of them are hard antlered. Uh, and I think the hunters are gonna be blown away with what they see. I'm gonna get this turkey cooked up. We'll eat some supper and tell some stories. And Hit the sack. We got a big day coming tomorrow. I remember as a kid, you know, on Christmas Eve, I was just jacked up and couldn't hardly sleep. Well, the same way with hunt season, it doesn't change. I mean, I look at it, I think hunting for me, it's like the fountain of youth. I mean, the excitement, the joy, the anticipation, it's all there, and tomorrow it's fixing to get cranked up. Everywhere I go, I know that the Lucas products are going to keep my firearms working tip top shape. As a rancher, I wind up having a, a lot of things that run with uh, engines, whether it's one of my side-by-sides, chainsaws, my truck. How many different things do you have that run uh, with an engine? Odds are you got a lot. And probably in that engine, you're using Lucas products. And the reason why is because Lucas has been a leader in the brand of uh, lubricants for, for years and years. And so when they started making lubricants uh, for firearms, okay, why in the world would I want to use anybody else's products? I mean, when you've got Lucas and they make products for the automotive industry for engines that have 15,000 horsepower, think of the technology that goes into it. And so for that reason, I switched over to all Lucas Oil Outdoor Line products for my firearms, and I love it. Jim hunted with us last year and he took an amazing deer. It was just this beautiful, typical buck. But on top of that, we made a ton of memories. It was his birthday, we cooked some wild game, and he's just become kind of a lifelong friend. It's funny how hunting does that to you. All right, it is the best day of the year. It is opening day of deer season. And Jim sat out this morning, I stayed home and cooked breakfast. So we are out, it's the first afternoon, and it is hot. It is hot. <laughs> So we're in the blind, not a lot of movement. All of a sudden I look up and there at the edge of the woods, the deer. 12 o'clock straight out there under the trees. So he starts coming in closer. It's like he's reading the script. And he gets in a bit closer, close enough for me to really get the glass on him. And I said, that's my deer. Then all of a sudden he decides to run and I start to panic. So on top of all this excitement, it starts pouring out of a clear and sunny sky, comes out of nowhere, right when I'm ready to take the shot. One, two. That was a hit. That was a hit. Yep. He's going down. Watch him, watch him, he's going down. Oh my god. 
is down. Oh my god. Good job. Good job. <sighs> Hold on. Time to breathe. <laughs> oh my god. Dream team does it again. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he didn't go far at all. You put a perfect shot on him. <sighs> now it's time to settle down. Well, he's down. <sighs> Let's go see him. Let's go check him out. Is this better than Christmas morning? This is Christmas morning, New Year's, and my birthday wrapped up in one. Oh. My. God. Whoa. What are you? Whoa. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to think. Well, let's go see him. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, what a hoss. He's beautiful. Oh, he's a monster. Look at these split brows. Perfect. Look at the tail. I think you, you, were, you weren't kidding when you said he couldn't get any more perfect. Oh my God, I thought last year's was beautiful. I think we may have a new winner, guys. Oh yeah, and look at the length of his beams. Oh my gosh. I mean, just absolutely look at perfect. It's like, it's like crab claws. Yeah. Well, this is my absolute favorite day of the entire year, <sighs> and I don't think there's anyone else I'd rather spend it with. Well, thank you. You're Good my job. favorite hunting partner. Oh and my God, chef. you you are you are you are my luck. <laughs> I'm you're glad I'm luck. not your bad luck. That no, would be no, terrible. No, you are my good luck and my and my chef partner. Well, oh my God, this is fantastic. We're gonna have a good night celebrating. I can't wait oh, for my yeah. dad to see him. Oh yeah, I, I I think even Keith is gonna be impressed. Oh yeah, he's gonna freak. My experience here at Texas Hidden Springs, once again, I mean this is this is the the top. This is the top of the mountain, guys. You can't get any better than this. The people, the accommodations. The hunting, it's incredible. I mean, testament to all the time and effort that Keith has put into this place. You guys are fantastic. I couldn't think of anybody I would rather be hunting with. This is a destination that I would recommend to anybody. Now, Patty is a little sassy thing. I absolutely love her. She's so sweet. She's got a great personality, and I'm hoping we can get her on a deer because she's worked for years, I think like 30 years with Billy to get on a deer, and hopefully will be her success story here. I am so excited to be here with Keith and my husband Billy to hunt at Texas Hidden Spring Ranch because first off, I get to take a management buck, and second, you would not believe the amount of bucks that I have seen. It is hot. It is late September, early October right now, and we are fighting the sun, we're fighting the heat, everybody's sweating, and it's for that reason we've got scent killer in all of our blinds. People are kind of stinky right now, so it's been helpful having it in the blinds with us. All right, so uh, this morning I'm on deck being the guide. Can you see? Okay, out of here, can you get your gun good? I, I mean. Okay, good. All right, so it is hot and muggy. That rain yesterday has made things really muggy, so hopefully something will come in that we can put on the hit list. So we're, we're looking and watching, and all of a sudden, and it's like 15, 20 minutes later, or whatever, and two big old bruisers come walking straight in. They weren't mine. They weren't management bucks, but right behind them, came another deer and Keith and I were looking at it and we decided this is mine. The perfect deer for me. He's looking at us. Don't look at me. He's just stay put. Anytime you want to do it, just make sure you yeah. ride the bull. There you go. Plenty of time. Going broadside, you get ready, all right? Ready. Okay. When you're ready. Nice. Did I hit him? You got him. I tried to just keep my eye open. Oh. Sound shot. Sound I don't know where you He's right there. Yeah. Oh. Go down, baby. Oh. Oh, 
what do you think, honey? Thank you, Lord. I told you I was gonna cry. I can't stop shaking. Real good. You happy? Well, you're supposed to be happy. You did a good job. I am. I'm proud of you. I'm proud. He's so pretty. He's so pretty. You did good. Just go get your deer. It really sucks to be 62 before you get your first buck. But it's. Company couldn't be more perfect. I think that is a beautiful buck. I mean, look he at the. gorgeous. Yeah, look at the little extras that he's look. got. This looks like a new antler coming. Yeah, I mean, look at here. I mean, it's got. It, big gap in it. it does look like a, a third antler so like a unicorn right here Boom. well that will be his name on the wall unicorn I, I want you to know that she had uh, issues as many people do with holding the gun and getting sight acquisition real quick and I want you to address the importance of that rest and that she what happened I think if I had not had that rest I would have been shaky left right up down but with it, look I at it. Yeah. I mean, it, it. This is unbelievable. So if you know somebody in your life that does not have a lot of upper body strength, somebody that uh, that is kind of shaky, uh, this is a this is a it's a copy of your rest, and it's something that maybe you ought to consider doing because it will help them become a better shot and a more successful hunter. But there's a lot to be thankful for, a lot to cry about because uh, I mean, when we take an animal's life, it's a time to celebrate, but it's also a time to reflect back and say, you know, this animal. He yeah, died for us. So we can eat. We're going to weigh him, get him on the scale, and show everybody and have some breakfast and get to work on him. What do you say? Let's go. One of my favorite parts in having the ranch and having hunters out here is seeing their faces. Seeing their faces along the entire experience of the hunt and watching Jim walk up on his buck and just the awe on his face and how grateful he was to be an American and live in a country and come to a place like this and experience the whole joy of the hunt really meant a lot to me. Keith has said it best, it's the joy of the hunt. And that doesn't mean just taking a trophy animal or a deer of a lifetime but it's about the people that you're with, the bonding that goes on, the fellowship, the camaraderie. It's, it's the complete package, and that's why I'm gonna keep coming back to Texas Hidden Springs. You understand that it's not just going out hunting for something, and it's providing meat for your family, and the, the guides, and Keith, and Maddie, and Johnny are just awesome. I can't wait to see them again. You just need to come out here and experience it. So Billy has become one of my favorite people in the world. Learning what a wholesome person he is has been a pleasure. And watching him and Patty in camp has been awesome. She is just the perfect balance to him. She's sassy and she's sweet. And I love watching them together and watching them hunt. It's crazy how being outside and in nature and in hunting camp can bring two people close together. And I can only hope to have a marriage like theirs one day. It doesn't matter where you are on opening weekend, you're going to have a good time if you're a deer hunter, just being in deer camp. And we had a wonderful time. I mean, Jim got a heck of a buck, Patty got a heck of a buck, and we had one heck of a time. I'm just grateful they took time out of their lives and came here so I could share this place with them. My name is Keith Warren. I'd like to thank you for watching The High Road, and we'll see you next week. Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.